It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Oh, where did you? Where did you go? I went looking for you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, oh, we're live. We're live. Sorry, I forgot all about that. I just thought we were chatting, mate. Yeah. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to another great show of Dad's Lads and Kebabs, the greatest podcast in the UK. <laughs> Happy Halloween! How you doing, son? How you no. doing? That's next week. I don't know what day it is. Yeah, all good. All good. That's blowing leaves today. Like that. I love leaf blowing. <laughs> it's it's so I've got so I've got a leaf blower and a leaf leaf vac. So mine does both. Okay. So does the vac have an area, a thing that chops it up as well? Yeah, it it mulches it and then puts it into a bag. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah, we've got the industrial ones that don't have that. you got the steel ones. Steel. Yes, yes, the orange and yellow. Orange yeah. and white. Orange and white ones, like, yeah. Yeah. you got you got the outdoor the outdoor man's brand. With the, with the petrol in it. Oh, Heavy. mate, I, I love a fucking power tool. I, it took me until about... I've had drills and stuff. I've had drills and stuff before, right? Like, But I got to... Must have been a few years ago when I got my own power tools. Let's say, yeah. So I've got a, I've got an impact driver and I've got a drill. I got a Milwaukee Duo Pack, which has like the elite. That's like the elite drill, basically. Yeah. Like if, you, if you're if you're like a proper tool person, that was the elite. And I was like, or oh, a Dewalt. Dewalt, yeah, I got a fucking Dewalt. No, I always think like Dewalt's like a scaffolders brand. I've got a Dewalt, mate. They're the kind of ones that wear Dewalt boots. Yeah, I used to have a Dewalt uh, drill, but I worked when I worked at B and Q. But it was on offer, and I had forty percent off when I worked there. So, but yeah, it's you like put... the to- it's like the Tottenham of drills, like Makita's yeah. Arsenal, and Tottenham is fucking. Dewalt. Yeah, I'll take. Oh, that. mate, I'll take that. Makita, Makita all day long, bro. Makita's such a Northampton fucking builders brand, isn't it? I've got Makita, mate. Oh, you're a twat. I like Milwaukee. I like it because it's kind of like. It's cool. Oh, did well, you I've say Milwaukee? Got... Okay, sorry. Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you said uh, Makita. I don't know. No, I've got Milwaukee. So I have a Milwaukee. Mm. I, have, I have three Milwaukee things. I have a. Oh, fucking hell. Not circular saw. Um, Chainsaw? Hedge trimmer? No it's, a, no, it's like a multi. It's, it's a multi tool pen. <laughs> no, it's a multi tool that obviously, like, you know, like, Savior's going to. Um, like take a chunk out of a skirting board. It's got yeah. like a flat blade on it. I've used it for shit like that. Okay. It's, it's quite, but yeah. I, 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 mate, I fucking love my power tools. I feel, I felt like a man's man having power tools. Yeah, that, got, you're, in got, wrong, I, you're in the wrong fucking job. Then this is you at work. Hello, hello. Yeah, mate, but, you want to be, you want to be tooling, mate. Fucking tooling like me. Tools and in, tits. Tools, tools and. <laughs> Well, tools I, and tits. It's it's, it's, t- it's tools and dicks where I work because there's no women. But there you go. <laughs> no, no, but you talk about tools and tits. Oh, uh, probably yeah. But yeah, what? that's it. That's what you'd love. Mate, you'd love I that. still think I still think men have to have tools, though. Oh yeah, I'm just saying you'd love it. All the different last tools week, we got. Last week was M and S. This week is tools. Tools, bruv. Tools. Oh, so do you? You have a ride on lawnmower, don't you? That you use? Yeah, we've got f- three different ones. Yeah. Do you, do you is that? Do you just put headphones in and just away you go? Well, I have headphones anyway. I wear them all day long now, just in one ear. Oh. So I listen to the radio and that. Um, and if I'm mowing or something that I need to just be on my own working, then I I put like podcasts or YouTube in or whatever. But yeah, headphones in. Awesome. Yeah, it's all good. Awesome. So, this week, my topic is, that I want to talk about, is blood pressure. How blood often, pressure. how often do you check your blood pressure? Up until February, quite often. What, was your, what was your, 
What was your? Oh, yeah, you're all right. Yeah, was that because yeah. you had one to hand? Yeah, we had loads in the office, and we were quite often doing um, like certain residents sometimes, quite often just for like so checkups do of the own. doctor. So we'd all sit there, go, "Oh, let me do mine." See if I'm still working properly, and you know, we'd all do it. So yeah. And what is what's what's kind of your blood pressure been like? Has it been quite stable, quite normal? Yeah, it didn't. Or... It didn't really go over one thirty-five over okay. ninety, I suppose. Uh-huh. So it was pretty good normally. But I, when I did notice it, because I always used to do it twice at a time. The first time I'd do it, when it starts coming down. And you can feel the the vein pulsing in your left arm, and I concentrate on that, and my blood pressure would go up. So when I do it again, I wouldn't think about the the, the pulsing vein in my in my arm, and it would be lower. <laughs> so, so I, yeah. so I basically I checked mine at the weekend, um, last not a couple of weeks ago, and oh, we lost sound. No, we haven't. Just... No. So I checked. I checked mine last weekend, and mine was one forty-two. Oh, one forty-two over ninety, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And obviously, you're not me. You're not Niall, the medical medical hypochondriac. Was like, "Check it again. Check it again." She's dying. This time, second time was like one forty-six, <sighs> and I was like. In. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is going on here? And then I thought, right, leave it a bit. Check it again later. And it was, it was still like 140-odd, about an hour later. And it took me ages to click on. And I was like, oh, my God, I, like, I need to look what's going on with my blood pressure. I need to check it. Anyway, so we've got a monitor now that was kindly lent to us because of checking blood pressures. Um, yeah. Anyway, I've been checking it, and... All week has been quite normal. All my blood pressure has been in normal levels all week. And I was like, what the fuck spiked it then? It took me about two, about three, four days to realize was the fact that about 10 minutes before I took my blood pressure, I had a double espresso. So it it affects you, doesn't it? Caffeine. 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 As much as I drink of it, I still, you know, it does affect me. So it was one of them things I was like, oh, shit. But still got me thinking about my blood pressure. And and yes, I am on the normal scale, but I'm not saying it could be better, is what I'm saying. Hmm. Um, and what I didn't realize is that high blood pressure is kind of like one of the silent killers that people don't even check. Yeah, that, if you don't get it checked regularly, you wouldn't know, probably. You know, and that's kind of like dying in your, dying your sleep sort of shit if you don't look after your blood pressure and mm. you know, and I started to look at like keto and stuff and how, how that mixes with your blood pressure. And obviously if you eat a lot of bacon, a lot of salt in that, you know, perfectly good snack. And I was, I've been eating more and more bacon recently. I've been thinking, shit, maybe I'm eating too much bacon. Cause that is, I've had, a, I, I, I've, I've had, and I was like, how much salt am I having? And then obviously I was like sugars. Well, that's fine. I'm not, having any sugars really have a couple of carbonated diet drinks maybe about four or five a week i'd say Mm. so that's not much of an issue i drink shit loads of water because that's all i drink apart from the coffee and i was like i don't not been eating bread not been eating fuck it i don't really have i don't really drink milk like i've had a few carbs this week not not trying to shy away from carbs because i'm not being a total fucking like I'm not having anything I've had a few potatoes here and there mm. but I was thinking right well I need to look after my blood pressure and I don't know I've just been really focusing on it and checking it every other day and checking what vitamins I'm taking are good for my blood pressure as well yeah everything's got side effects everything has side apparently effects. yeah everything like some something's gonna get us right it's going to be the healthy shit. It'll be, it will be. Too many vitamins and he died. What the fuck? I'm not Bruce Lee. Okay, no. um, there's, there was that documentary recently, I've seen it on Gogglebox, where the guy was basically trying to reverse his aging process. Oh, I heard about that. And he, like, his supplements, were, 
his supplements, they would have filled a bowl of cereal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he was just taking all sorts. He was basically, like, fucking plant extracts and all that sort of shit and just... Like, it's just too much work. Like, if, you, if you've ever taken supplements, like, and I'm talking a lot of supplements, like, we both have, like, it is hard work to remember every fucking, fucking tablet every day. Well, I, I was taking about 15 a day at one point. And I've got, I've got a little dosset box over there that I used to fill up with all my tablets. Yeah, me too, and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't take them very often anymore, which I should I... do. But it's I've like been taking, saying, it's, it's a chore. Fucking does my fucking head in taking all them. So I, I used to keep them like near my toothbrush because then I'd be like, well, I know I'm going to brush my teeth in the morning, so I'll fucking do that. Mm. I'll I'll neck my tablets, brush my teeth, and then I'm good. Problem is, it's like I I would suck at taking medication. If I had to be on any form of medication, I would be shit at it. <laughs> Why? Too many? Can't because do it? I, Too big? I'd just not... I'd forget. I'd just forget. Oh, yeah. You'd, you'd I'd leg purely, fall off. I'd purely... Like, my <laughs> thing... Do you know, like... Do you know, like, if you're ever prescribed antibiotics? Oh, every four hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I take them... I take antibiotics when I feel better. Until I feel better. Do you are supposed to finish the course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it comes back. Oh, fuck's sake, man. What's going We can hear him, people. If you're watching this, Niall, it's you, not me. I'm still here. Niall's in a cemetery, probably. He's in a cemetery, and the ghosts are getting him. They That's are. what it is. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it, mate. Yeah, I take... I mean, I take... Like, if I was prescribed antibiotics, I would take them up until I feel better. Do you know what I was doing the last time I had to take them? I was setting alarms on my phone just so that I remembered to take them because I was forgetting. No, I always forget. Yeah, so every always. four hours I'd set them just to be safe, you know. And it, it was no problem then. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. So what do you... Um, anyway, blood pressure. Check your blood yeah. pressure now and again. Yeah. Because it is actually a silent killer that there is, it can be a sign that obviously that, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to die or anything like that, but it means that I seen, I seen as my, looking at my blood pressure, I seen it as a bit of a warning sign. That yes. Yeah. My blood yeah. pressure was high because I had double Stimulant. espresso about 10, 10 minutes before I, my caffeine spikes me. However, just I think you should regularly check your blood pressure, like cholesterol. I haven't, I've never, I don't know what my cholesterol is. Mine was good years ago. Do you remember when I was fucking bleeding? Yeah. Everywhere? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't. So, so Mum, Missy said to me, "What's your BMI?" I don't know what my BMI is. Mine's like thirty-two, but it's outdated. I, I don't even know how much I weigh. I'm sure if I was to take my BMI, it would be your obese. Like, yeah, I'm obese. Yeah. And I get it. I, so skinny. what I've learned recently is the older you get, the skinnier you should. Well, not the skinny, but the slim. The sl you should be on the slimmer side, because you know you you've got to carry those injuries. You've got to carry your body fat. through life. Yeah. And carrying fat is carrying weights that are putting strain on your arteries, your heart, and everything else in between. And your bones, and so, your cartilage, and your muscles. Yeah. So it's like, and that got me thinking as well about should once you get to a certain age, and I, I, I hate this whole pussy mentality that you know you should never stop fucking, you know, lifting big weights because I don't I don't want to stop lifting big weights. Like, and I but then it got then I seen that story last week about that bodybuilder that fucking dropped down dead and he was found like a day later in the shower, like. Doesn't surprise me. Most of them are on steroids. They're they're far overeating what they should be for a normal person. I know some of them are big, but but I did see a video yesterday which I thought was interesting from a doctor. Yeah. Is it a doctor? I don't know. But they say that if you get cancer, then the study has shown that there's an enzyme in your body, uh, something that is created, and that is created more when you exercise 
and they did a study on this person who had cancer and they were checking their levels obviously regularly like they do and he started hitting the gym and the levels to get it to spread had gone you know it come right down because of the 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 hormone or whatever's produced when you exercise so i thought that's quite interesting but they do say that your body can fight better when you have muscle I mean, the more muscle mass you have the better yeah. you are but you are able to to fight illnesses and stuff which is fair enough you don't if you're really skinny and frail you're not going to be very you're not fighting for yeah, it, yeah. Say. that's the thing right there is you have if you've not got anything on you what's going to fight you know what what backup yeah. have you got or energy stores or backup supplies to keep your body fighting yeah you know and i get that so then you is it's so weird, isn't it? Because you don't know whether to be skinny and you know be lighter and be kinder to your arteries and everything else and kinder to your heart, or if you've got a bit of meat on you and you've got a bit of and I don't mean fat and I don't mean sugars or saturates, but I mean like a bit of muscle, you know, hmm. like obviously, I mean like look, look at yourself, right? Like you, you're literally on a shovel or machinery all day. You are like. You're yeah. probably now the fit, physically fittest that you've probably been in a long time, in I terms look, of stamina. I don't, I don't look it, but yeah. But stamina-wise, you like yeah, probably, you've, yeah. you've like if you, I look I, back at look about look back at your tiredness level from when you first started at your job to where yeah. you're at now. Oh yeah, I can like, go to bed 11, 11, half eleven every day now, and I'm pretty much fine. I remember you. I remember your first week of that job when you were like. like Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, I'm dead. I'd be asleep <laughs> at like four in the afternoon, like nodding off. Like, yeah, because like you were just eight. physically drained. Not used to it. Yeah, I am used to it now. It doesn't. It doesn't feel as difficult doing the physical. Even when it's really physical, it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. Like you recover quicker. I mean, probably. Oh, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Sit down for ten minutes, and I'd be fine again. So I've been doing, but. I, every day this week, I've done. I did seven k on Monday, and I've done five k. Yes, no, seven k on Monday, five k on Tuesday, five k yesterday. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do five k tonight. That's all treadmill, by the way. It's not. And obviously, that do you know what the sweat that it breaks on me. However, yeah. afterwards, I've been feeling fucking mental. What like? Just ah, good. Oh. Oh, it's fucking frozen again. Now I should get out of the cemetery, I tell ya. It's my place, not his. Look at him. Looks like he's gonna punch me. <sighs> Come on then. <sighs> Mickey wait, Come on back. On. Come on back. There he is. I don't know what's happening. This has happened a few times now. Sorry about this people. We'll edit this shit out. <laughs> no, yeah, so I, I talk while you're not there. <laughs> So I've, so yeah, so I've been doing that, and yeah, I feel really good after it. I feel really yeah. proud of myself that I've done it. I'm going to push for another seven k tonight, which is about five miles. But you know what I've been doing? So I've that, been watching is that on treadmill. Treadmill, yeah. Oh, okay, fucking, that'll take ages to run that, or to even walk it. It's well, be I, an hour and a half, hour. It's seven is an hour and a half. Yeah. 5k is an hour i can do 5k in an hour uh let's say uh, on the verge of fast pace but what i'm doing is i'm watching um i'm watching michael jordan's the last dance oh i've watched that about 10 times i fucking love that yeah awesome program cool. no he's trying to kiss me now look at him what's that about <laughs> it's funny. Oh, sorry, people. Niall is, is living in the dark ages on this episode. But it's all good. Come and follow on TikTok. Come and see us on Instagram. Download on the audio platforms. There he is. I don't know what's happening, guys. I'm sorry about this. It's, it keeps telling me when my signal's dropping. So I'll Ooh. leave it here. Let's see the change of it's the ghost. Lo location helps. Yeah, so... um. I've been watching Michael Jordan's The Last Dance on Netflix. Yeah. 
turns out, like, obviously, oh, mate, I fucking love MG when I was a kid. I thought he was, like, the greatest. Yeah, I was never into basketball, really. I knew about him, but I didn't really watch I think I, I'm more interested now than I was then, anyway, when he was playing. It's so, such a great documentary, but really great if you're on a treadmill because it kept me working quite hard. Yeah, it motivates you. Because he's the hardest well, man ma- working room in the room, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He 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 was fucking epic. He's a machine, wasn't he? Absolute, like, so much I didn't know about him. from Because obviously, when I was a kid, it was just like, who's your favourite basketball player? Michael Jordan's your fucking favourite basketball player. Why? Because, mate, he can fucking do it all. Yeah. But I remember watching basketball games when I was like, maybe like 10. And I used to think, I used to think it was the greatest, coolest game ever. Like, it just looked cool. And I'd like to watch it in person, like a proper NBA game, not some shitty, shit crap team people. But Shit like, crap team. Yeah. You know, like Premier League and football in England, I'd want to go to the top level in basketball, and that's obviously in the NBA. So I'd like to see that in person one day. I think that'd be quite I cool. loved the nostalgia of the TV show, though, because... It was so like you've seen what it was like. It like do you remember like the good times of the nineties? And mm. it just looks so cool. Like, I fucking miss those days. I wish like nineties to two thousands could have stayed around for a lot longer than it did. Yeah, yeah, they were nineties were the best days, I think. But mm. MJ, man, he was cool. I so much I didn't know. I didn't know. I never knew that his dad was murdered. I never knew that. It's the side of the road, yeah, shot. Yeah. I didn't know that. He, I didn't know that he had a gambling problem. Well, they said he had a gambling problem. He said he didn't have a gambling problem, didn't he? He just like winning, yeah. and he did win all the time. So, but he was comp- he was competitive, yeah. And he was like, yeah, but they were he was, they were saying like fifty grand to him's like fifty quid to us. Yeah, you know he could afford to he could especially back then, like back in like ninety five, the money he was earning then was like big money P- now. Pittance, yeah. But yeah, to him it was, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. But that's what happens when you get to the top of your sport, top of your game. You know, people are like that. Like a lot of people said they didn't like being around him because he wasn't a very nice person. But if you're in the team with him, then you would win because he's a winner and it sort of rubs off. If you don't like the way we train, fuck off and learn because I'm not changing because I'm winning. I'm a winner and you're not. You're a loser. He was such a he was such a lone wolf though, like his style, the way he was, like his mentality throughout the show yeah. that I've been watching is like because I knew him as Michael Jordan. I didn't know him like how you get to know him. Yeah. And you, you just knew like his talent was just like nobody matched him. No like anybody that tried to match him or got close to him, like well, they were like he, he defeated them all. And he would he would create problems with an opponent, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Before, yeah. before the next game. It's like, right, I've made up a story. He'd tell people, oh, he shouted at me, gave me dirty look. He said, I'm rubbish. It never happened, a lot of it. It was in his own head to give him a reason to be to go up another level. And it's like, that mentality is like Tiger Woods, you know. Oh, yeah, he's another MJ. one. He's another, it's, kind, it's kind of like a sport mentality, sort of freak of Muhammad nature. Ali. You know, you have you to just have... couldn't. They were like forces to like. They'll never be greats like that again. Mike Tyson. Because they, oh yeah, yeah. They, they were just greats. All all of those that you named were greats all of them in their own right. But yeah, his talent was just fucking mental. The way he and it wasn't, it wasn't luck or anything like that. He had to like the hard work you see him put in. Yeah, it was great. Obviously, back when I used to watch, because that was I, I knew the Bulls, I, I knew the Knicks, and I knew the Lakers when I was a kid. It was probably the Celtics. I knew them, like of those teams. We didn't get so much basketball on our TV. It used to be on Sky, like ESPN and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But when I was, what was I going to say? Not one of my yes, my two favorite players. Well, obviously Jordan was one, but Dennis Rodman. I, I fucking I loved how cool Dennis Rodman was. I first knew about him from films. Then I realised he was a basketball player. I'm like, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. I, I, I knew about him from the film Double Team. Yeah, with Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. But yeah, I, but I knew him as, you know, I knew him as, as the Bulls player, and I was like, 
he was just he was mental he was have absolutely you fi- sc- have you finished the series yet no you still still on it still on it yeah uh, i think it's about eight eight or ten episodes yeah i think it's ten yeah i won't i won't say some bits then well you must be near the end if his dad's been shot he must be in like I'm- six or seven his dad got shot in last night's episode, um, and the, he, I'm at the point where he was. He said that he's not even physically thinking about playing anymore. Like it's at the bit at the back of his agenda. Has he won won his three rings yet? The first three. Yeah, yeah, he's won the three championships. Yeah. Oh, he's gone to baseball now then. No. Oh, because he retires as soon as he hit the three rings, he left. So you, that must be this episode then. You're gonna watch. That was the only thing that made me made me really a bit kind of weirded out was the fact that he went to baseball. Well, he was he was always a baseball player when he was younger. Him and his dad yeah. always played baseball. He played for local teams, so he had natural ability. So he was he could have been a baseball player like professionally. So that's why he wanted to do it. But it's, that's what I mean. Do you know like? When you was at school, and you'd you'd know there'd be kids that are good at sports. He was clearly a natural all rounder, because he was he was an impec he is an impeccable golf golfer as well. Yes, yeah. Um, he just hated those kids at school. The kids that were good at everything. Like yeah. you're normally good at like one or two things, but to be good at multiple things to an expert level as well. Yeah, it'd be one of them annoying ones that you didn't oh, like. Sure. Because he'd show off and be arrogant because he was yeah. very good. Yeah. Those kids were the toughest kids, though, because they, I always used to think like the kids that were good at everything, they had it easy. When mm. really, if you're good at something, everybody's just waiting for you to fuck up. Yeah, pressure, waiting to fail. I yeah. thought the press, the press around him was just, they were disgusting to him. Like they were fucking out of order. Everything they did and published and, He's man at fucking Jerry Krause, the fucking twat. Uh, owner of the Bulls, yeah. No, general he was manager a, of the Bulls, yeah. General manager. He was a knobhead. Yeah. But it's it's a really good show, that. I'll probably watch it again before the end of the year. I've watched it twice this year already. <laughs> oh, so I, yeah, I'll, I'll finish it and then we'll talk again about it. What the fuck have you been buying lately? What are you on about? <laughs> what the fuck have you been buying? What, what, what's wrong with owning bits of the window frame from the Amityville Horror House and dirt from the demon demon house in Gary, Indiana, where Zach used to own? What's wrong with that? He bought he bought it off that family, didn't he? He bought the house off the yeah. He bought it from the show without even looking at it. Yeah, but he probably paid what ten thousand dollars. Eight eighty thousand without seeing it, but he knew that you could make. He weren't. If, he wasn't moving can, into it though. No, no, he wasn't. But he wanted it because if you own the house, you own the rights to any movies, and TV documentaries, etc. So he knows that's money. You know, he's probably made like millions from the Demon House sale. On all of the, the documents of their documentary. Has any yeah, films yeah. been made about it? No. No, there was there was talks that there was going to be, and the family that lived there, they had signed the deal. That's why they wouldn't speak to him. Like the woman, the main yeah. character woman, that she refused to speak. But then her brother did because Zach offered offered him some money. <laughs> so yeah, as far, as far as I know, there's been no film about it. So no. So he did he did was... the right thing, but he shouldn't have knocked it down. What made you buy? What made you, in fact? What made him knock it down first? But he he said so that he didn't. No one else would experience what he did because apparently he had issues of his eyes and all the demons that are in the house. So that's why I knocked it down so no one could be trapped in there. No one could get in there. But he should know that the land is the haunted bit. Whether there's walls around it, they're still there. So you know. Yeah, but then people wouldn't have a place to. Go, I understand that. Go try to, and break in, like, try hang outside, yeah. But also like, people have people have said that he knocked it down so that because it was all bullshit and if it wasn't there, people couldn't go and experience it for themselves to say, Look, this is bullshit. 
all the families and the police and the social workers made it up. But who knows? Oh well, yeah, look at um, yeah. like you said though. Look at look at East Drive now that you've been to mentioned talked about multiple times. Is That's is shit. that people rent it out now for multiple you know multiple yeah, dates of the year? Blah. Blah de blah de blah. One one day that's just all going to come to an end. And when that does come to an end, that house is still going to be left there, and people are going to be like, "Well, will anybody ever live in that house the again?" Wire for this microphone is far too fucking long. Ow. So you bought a soil sample? Yes, it did. Here you go. Oh my god, you're such a weirdo. That's the worst bit. You literally just said that. It's in the foundations and you just bought a piece of it. Yeah, no, it's all certified and everything. How is soil certified, my friend? Uh, like from the location, I mean. It's got so- picture, pictures of, of him what? Location. Getting a little spoon and going, little bit for Mickey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. Not for me, but obviously on the, yeah. So how much was that? And that's okay. from the window frame of the Amityville house. The top two windows on the picture there, they were changed the last time it was sold to uh, right. so that they didn't have the famous glowing eye look. So they changed yeah. them and took all the window frames out. So, yeah. And how much was that? I think this one was £20. Okay. And this, this was about 25 So. Oh, my God. But the people that do it, it's all like a proper company in that. It's, I think it's from Horror Canada. It's, yeah, something like that. I thought it was from America, but apparently it's Canada. Uh, Mark's just bought a piece from Salem, from the same company, uh, of the where they hung the witches. So The three witches? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want that. So. I lost him again. Niles Bellin today. Do apologise, people. It just means you get to listen to me. You get to listen to Mickey and his bullshit. Bullshit. Sorry. But, yeah. How are you? How are you? I hope you're well. hope you're listening. If you watch all the latest episodes, Halloween is here next week. We've got some great, great stuff to show you for a Halloween episode. We are going to Dr. Frights as well, hopefully. Oh, my God. There he is. back oh. again now, eventually eventually maybe not quite maybe. possibly maybe not it's getting bloody dark man i don't know what's it going on a, with my uh it is midnight <laughs> does look hey. right doesn't it yeah do you know what happened last thursday night now after we filmed what Parker? happened last thursday night what what happened what did i what, what did i spend three nights looking for back in may oh my god he's gone again he's fucking gone again Wow, Niall's sleeping now. This is getting ridiculous. This will be out, don't worry. There he is, he's back again. What happened last Thursday night, mate? You tell me, what happened in the sky? Oh, the uh, the aura thing. The Northern Lights was back and stronger yeah. than last time. And I got Did you fucking, catch? I was fucking out for four hours, mate. Yeah. No dogging that night for you. No. So let me show you. Fucking, I was so happy. Absolutely. Show me before we lose connection. Oh wow, that's a good fucking picture. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I went to Urchester Country Park. That was sort of yeah. glowing a little bit. Then I went to Rushton Lakes because I know people. Had got pictures there, you know, on the boardwalk, looking at the lake. Yeah, yeah, and then you could see the 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 red pink glow without a camera. You could see it, and it's like wow. So yeah, about they should eight, do about go eight on, o'clock, on. and I finished. I think I went home at half ten, so two and a half hours. You could see it getting better, and then suddenly it went shit at half ten. But yeah, I was so so happy. I've I've seen that now. That's one of my. You know, bucket awesome. list. Awesome. All those people that paid to go and see them as well. What Iceland? 
<laughs> yeah, people went to Ice. People have gone cruises to go and see them and not seen them. I know. Did you see? You should see Norway ones though. They were like the Phoenix. Like yeah, yeah. Last last Thursday, they were amazing. Canada. They it's, they it's get wet. them for ages. Yeah, well. they get them all the time, don't they? Especially yeah. in Norway. But yeah, so it's happy. I was going to say the boardwalk of Russian. They should do so much more on that boardwalk. It's nice though. I like Russian they, lakes. They should like put like. I don't know. They should put like an arcade there. They should treat it like a proper boardwalk. Hot dog stands. They should put a little they've, thick. They've got, got them at the top, haven't they? What hot they've dog got, stands? They've got other stands. They have like coffee ones, uh, like potato ones, like kebabs, some sort of. Yeah, that's the it's, other side, though, isn't it? That's at the, that's at the top. So like Marks and Spencer's Primark top, like opposite to the yeah. boardwalk. Yeah, they're up there. There's a few of them up there. But yeah, they could do more. They could, you know. They could put like a proper like place where families could go, you know, because I mean, obviously since they shut that patisserie Valerie, the fucking unhygienic shit. Oh, that was well bad. This is disgusting. Yeah. Um, they should put so much more there. Make it like a place where you don't just have to go and shop, but you can go and hang out and, you know, treat it like a full on good day out a sofa lounge that'd be cool just loads of places like they could put like a fucking they could put fucking punch and judy axe on it be quite cool you know or well, just maybe. carnival carnival games coconut shines yeah an arcade like you like you said with all games and stuff in there that'd be quite cool i i love an arcade i love an arcade yeah. I do love an arc, a good arcade. Yeah, when was the last time you went? Holiday? Oh, fuck. Uh, not so long ago. Bowling. Like, there was a bowling yeah. alley, isn't there? Yeah, but the, the ones at bowling alleys are not that good. They're not They're not like full-on arcades. They're all about winning tickets. Like, yeah, I like I proper them. arcades. Do you know, like, shooting games or fucking basketball hoop games or... Yes. Motorbike ones or just... I've done an axe throwing one, pinball. I'm fucking love pinball. <laughs> do, 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 do. Are you, I was I was quite good at pinball at one point. I used to be get some good scores. Yeah, I never really played it to be fair. I like the air hockey. Oh, I love cool. air hockey. Yeah. Have you played the air hockey with all the multiple ones, the Pac-Man one? No. Where you basically it's not just one puck. It's basically like sixty pucks that all come out at the same time, and everybody you just got to scramble. Oh, no, I've not played that. that it's fucking fun. sick. Play Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man air hockey, man. Paul. Oh. Love Paul as well. Yeah. Love fucking Paul. I haven't played, I haven't played Paul in a... I haven't played Paul since probably we used to play at work. At work, yeah. They were good them days, them lunch times. Play Paul for a couple of hours. Yeah. Get paid. Yeah. Go get a kebab and salad from the chippy. Kebab and salad. Yeah. Get a, a nice winning scratch card like you used to do. Oh, I won a hundred pound at that one. No, hundred pound on that scratch card. Couple of couple of times you had some good good amounts. I haven't done a scratch card in a long time either. You can't afford it now. What was that noise? What noise? <laughs> That's a <good> ghost. <laughs> it's that room, mate. I'm telling you, you're you're inviting shit into that room like you would not believe it. Honestly, your bedroom is like it's like a ghost orgy with all the shit that's going on in there. I thought the noise is at night. It's, it's literally like just a bunch of ghosts spunking on each other. There's <laughs> all the shit that you have all merge all gonna merge into one big fucking just bad I, demon for you. I've I've got a bag in my wardrobe full of artifacts from Crispins that I acquired over the years. You were you acquired from a from a memorabilia shop. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So the, the question of the hour, obviously, this week, this episode's this week, last week, yesterday, tomorrow, today, now. What do you make of all this Liam Payne stuff? Who? Liam Payne. Who the fuck is Liam Payne? Oh, One Direction I, boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, One Direction guy. Well, my take on it from this morning, I saw people very sad. Don't get me wrong, very sad. Like Facebook, thirty-one year old, thirty-one thought, year old man. Yeah, I thought someone had been scammed. To be fair, and like they've been hacked and they put it up. Because I thought he ain't dead. He's like young. Weird. And yeah. then there was like twenty people put it up, and I thought, okay, maybe not then. And then I'd been listening to radio at work, and the base I seen on on Twitter there was a Snapchat that he'd put up an hour before when he was with his girlfriend having breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I've seen I've seen them, yeah. In a house somewhere, and then suddenly he's in a hotel, uh acting very erratic and scary and shouting in the lobby and going mad. And then them phoning the police saying we, he's locked himself in his room. We can't get in. Don't know what's going to mm-hmm. happen. And then suddenly he's on the pavement from three floors. It's and it's a... it's like he was planning about going horse riding, like playing polo. And he was saying that it's it's really heavy and physically on the body. This was an hour before this apparently happened. I know it's 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 weird, and then the hotel have now come out and said like they had somebody that was drunk, under the influence, of drugs, and smashed drugs, up the hotel yeah. room. Yeah, that's they said that was him, basically. So I I don't know, like it's kind of like a reporting is just terrible. Like it's in Buenos should, Aires, wasn't it? In Argentina. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to fucking... You shouldn't be able to report if they're not straight-up facts, I think. Because the speculation of, of this... Obviously, you've got real journalists that yeah. report these things. You've got journalists that are, were actually present at the scene. And then you've got every keyboard fucking journalist Social under the media. sun. Yeah. Just putting their sprinkle on a story. It's like bad Chinese whispers, isn't it? And... Mm. Um, don't get me wrong, absolutely horrific. Obviously, that's what's happened. Yeah. Whether he's under the influence or not, clearly, obviously, you know, young man's lost his life and it's terrible. But it, I just think the media spin on, on the shit is just like it's just false information. But they must have some sort of reason or facts to say this in the first place. Do you reckon, though? Do you really think news fucking articles? Look at the fucking sun. That shit of a newspaper's been fucking the causing scum, drama for yeah. years. No, but I'm on about Argentinian ones. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Sto- Story come from them. So, you know, I don't think... Unless they threw him out of the room and um, were trying to cover themselves by saying he's drunk. I don't know. That's the point, isn't it? Maybe. Like... That's it, all I can think of. Obviously, the, one, saying he was under the influence, two, smashed up the room, two... Obviously, everyone said, "Oh, he's you know he's been getting done from his ex," and then they compared it to the Caroline Flack story, and and then it was like, "What's been going on, really? Has he broken mm. up with that girlfriend he was with that day?" No like, idea. you're not you're not going to really know. No, he's got a seven year old kid, isn't he? I think. Yeah, it's just it's, uh, it's just nothing, awful. Nothing makes sense. No, at the moment. But then, mm-hmm. what is gonna? You know, I mean, it's terrible. But ne- ne- when it comes up on Sky News or the BBC, as much as I hate them, they're not allowed to lie about people, or they do every day. But yeah. you know, the, you're probably going to get a better news report and more of the facts from them than you do from social media journalists. So. I hate to even bring it up, but like obviously I seen you posted it earlier, and it really resonated with me about the young, the young boy that died the same day in an explosion in Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah. Oh yeah, like, that fucking annoyed me. The media Thank coverage you. is is that you know potentially a man under the influence has committed suicide or accidentally fell off the balcony. Yeah. However, a young boy defenceless. Obviously, died in a seven year explosion. Old. Yeah. Seven year old in an explosion. The media coverage would, well, that one will be shut down within 24 hours. hours. I didn't even the know about one, that until today. First time the other I, one I know, will go on. The other one will go, will go on for some time. And I, I get it, like, you know, yeah, but nobody knew that person. Nobody knew that seven year old boy. 
However, a lot of people knew Who Liam Payne. Liam Payne was, yeah, I suppose. But uh, it doesn't make it right, does it? I mean, they're both sad. They both died. They're both probably gone to the same place. Unfortunately, that is life. But yeah, it should. Like everyone's posting today, it's like Liam Payne, rest in peace. Big picture of him. It's like you didn't fucking know him. And I've out of all the people in One Direction, people either like Zayn Malik or Harry Styles. Really, the other three, like who are they? You know, if you're being right. not, you know, hey, I was. I was in what? One Direction, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was well, born before him. I was Niall before that Niall. All right. Niall Horan. Yeah. No. Niall, Niall Johnson. No. It's better. Is that, is that your name? Oh, my God. We know his name, people. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. No, it, it's, it's a tra- tragedy. Can't say that word. Put my teeth in. But tragedy, got a tragedy, mate. Tragedy, tra- tragedy. strategic, uh, what strategic, the, hard words uh, to say. Allegedly, allegedly, tra- trajectory. No, uh, geographical. Oh, that's um, nice. <laughs> strategically, strategically. <laughs> you can't even say it. <laughs> Statist- statistically, it's not. Pacific, it's specific. I love it when people say that. Pacific, uh, that's an ocean, you know my, mate. Uh, do you know my, my pet peeve is, it's not there, it's there. And I'm yeah. just like, oh, fuck off. Like, personally, I know the difference. But when people comment on other people's the spelling, correct, like, I get it once upon a time. I, I, I imagine my spelling was atrocious as a kid. However, it's not there, it's fucking there. It's like, shut the fuck up. You're a twat. You're the kind of person that was fucking... You was a knobhead in school. You Nobody liked you. <laughs> I, do, you, I, I do watch people spell it. Fuck me, that's bad. Online. Yeah, but it's not there. It's there. Oh. Yeah, but people have... No one ever types the full word on any word on any social media post because your phone corrects it and puts it in anyway. You don't even have to spell it. You can spell three letters of the word and it would put it up for you anyway. There's no my, excuse to get it wrong, really. My pet peeve more than my pet peeve more than bad spelling, which is it's not a pet peeve for me, it's bad spelling. Cause it's fine. Like, I understand what you're saying. I can read yeah. okay. bad spelling. My is when people abbreviate words. So do you know when people mix letters and numbers at the same time? Yeah. Like mate and hate. Yeah. Oh God. And great. Well, I I hate I hate slang. I hate I hate today's slang. And I hate. I mean, I hate slang in general. Like, I hate when people say because it makes me cringe inside. It makes me think like, oh, you're a dick. <laughs> do, do you know when? Like, and it changes all the time. Like when kids will say like, I don't know fucking that's lit or it's gonna be oh, yeah. fire or you know yeah. that just 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 proper slang like that kind of slang it's like you're a knob the they probably don't even use bear anymore in lang no and bear and no, that and Pete no and yes he, they gone, were all the, they were my that i read said they were they were my later teenage years that i heard that sort of stuff in college um but now they've got their own thing They've got their own slang. And it's like, I, I'd imagine now as a parent, which makes me feel really old, I just think, you're a twat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut my, the fuck up. My daughter used to come home saying all that, and we used to take the piss out of her. Like, we just used to say bear and everything. It's like, well, they're naked, or they... So, I'll oh, shut up. My driller. You get me, bruv. <laughs> and it's like, like, you're not a road man. <laughs> you know, fuck off. I hate that term. I hate, do you know, I was, I had this discussion. Waste man. <laughs> yeah. Or waste man. Skit. Oh, yeah. I, just, <laughs> I had this right discussion. <laughs> and honestly, one of, I was saying to my, um, my wife about it is that one of the things I hate, one of the terms that I fucking cannot stand, and I hate it, and the, f- the fact that it's going to leave my mouth makes me cringe, but the words baby daddy. Like, 
That's my baby dad. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> don't, I, I don't want to comment on that. And that's me finished. <laughs> Mickey's got an opinion about baby dad. <laughs> I have, but I will be abused for giving my opinion. So, unfortunately, you will not be getting that publicly from my own mouth. Oh, I'm going to fire out after the show, people. Oh, you're so fucking jealous. Don't worry, because I'm going to fucking tell you all next week what my Mickey thinks of that word. But... You won't, believe me. <laughs> That's my baby daddy, isn't it? That's my baby daddy. Oh, darling. Shut up. Get the fuck away from my baby dads. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it. It makes me fuck. It makes my skin crawl. The fact that why would you say that? And just people, like we've said it time and time again, like people that be, you know, the same sort of people that check in on an A and E, say baby does. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I just, I just put a picture up. I wouldn't put a check in. I'll just put a picture. Oh, we lost the people. Oh, we've so, we've lost you now. Again, we had a a little good run there of about fifteen minutes. This is an interesting episode, guys. Do apologise. But we appreciate your support anyway. You are awesome as ever. Make sure you leave some comments and some ratings on the audio platforms. That'd be great. Leave us some five stars. Uh, you may even be able to comment on them. I'm not sure. I think you can review us. So if you, please review us on the audio platforms. That'd be great. Um, watch the YouTube channel. Go to TikTok. We have lots of the funny clips on there. Uh, we're doing really well. And Niall is still not back. So am I going to end this myself? Is this the end of episode 127? Yes, we've been going for 127 episodes, people. Can you believe that? How long is that? That's like over three years now we've been doing this. We did have a break around a year and a half ago for personal reasons for myself and Niall individually. Um... But you do go through struggles in life and you know we have to deal with it how we deal with it everyone deals with problems differently and you know some people get help some people don't want help some people can't get help it's always important to talk to people to uh, try and understand the situation and to keep them happy safe check on your friends check on your family but yeah and now I'm still not back. But it's all good. You have to put up with me. But yeah, let me know. Have you been to our Instagram page? Go and like some of our videos, some of our pictures. Uh, like I said earlier, we'll be going to Dr. Fright's. Hopefully. Possibly next week. Or probably next week at some point. Is he back? No, he's back. I have to bring him back. Where did he go? Shopping? Sorry, oh, yeah. guys. I lost force. The signal's gone really bad. I don't know. I'm going to have to find somewhere else to park next week. Or we're going to have to go back to doing it at home. Because that is bad. Um, mm. Baby Just, daddy. Yeah, baby daddy. <laughs> Checking in at a &E, You twats. Guys, let's just wrap it up there. Because we're going to yeah. lose more signal. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Hope you had a lovely Halloween. At what point it is. Get it's in touch. Halloween, Lo yeah? This is before Halloween. It's not um, Halloween yet. It's not it's Halloween not Hall yet. No, We've it's not. Do Dr. Frights first. Stop. Yeah, it's Dr. Frights. Fingers next, crossed. Next week. Maybe next week. Maybe. Guys, peace out. Deuces. Fuck off. Go and ask your baby daddy what he thinks of it. And get better signal. <laughs> <laughs>